The posters go up under the cloak of darkness. Artist Robbie Canal and a small team of volunteers work fast to glue the images of Nelson Mandela to signs and metal electric boxes scattered around Los Angeles. It's a little bit illegal. In the past, Canal has been fined and even arrested by police. At his home studio, the original portrait hangs on a wall. It's a departure from Canal's satirical work, which he is famous for. My whole career has been doing, you know, nasty black and white portraits of ugly old white men in suits and ties who I think have abused their power. But for Nelson Mandela, Canal has nothing but love and respect, which makes painting his picture all the more difficult. It's more nerve-wracking because I feel more responsibility and, and care about the person. The posters include the words walking in reference to Mandela's autobiography and dancing. He said, um, music and dance make me at peace with the world and with myself. And I'm feeling that. I'm not going to say that I'm a dancer, but he did this little Mandiba shuffle uh, that was, you know, his signature. Canal is even displaying the posters next to other men he admires, including Gandhi, the Dalai Lama, and Martin Luther King Jr. The goal in Los Angeles is to place as many posters as possible around the city. But once these are delivered to Cape Town, they'll likely be displayed in people's homes. About 6,000 posters are being sent to Ekaya Ekasi, an art and education center, and Kayalicha, run by Art Aids Art. The organization's co founders, Thomas Harding and Dorothy Garcia, say many of the posters will be given out to people that come to the center to watch Mandela's funeral. One of the intentions of this poster is to give people something tangible they can hold on to uh, that represents their love of Madiba. That image of Mandela, of Tata, going up wherever they want to put it. Um, I think it's like having a little piece of their father with them. Creating this work of art has taken Canal on a spiritual journey. I try to get kind of into the person's soul through their face. And uh, it's a pleasure with Mandela. Now he's working on a larger portrait of Mandela and hopes this too will one day be displayed in South Africa. Lindsay Mastis, SABC News, Los Angeles.